What's up guys, I'm Zion and it's time to show you my new Helicat Poison team. So, let's go. Okay guys, let's go to the clan boss. We come here, we click Nightmare and the team, oh, this is the team. Ah, oh, nope, no, nope, this is not the team. This is the team. Helicat, uh, Helicat with Doom Priest with Frozen Banshee, with Skull Crusher, plus Dark Owl. And the team is Dark Owl use A3 and A2. And then he will just explode. We use our Frozen Banshee only to A1 and apply tons of poisons. Because Dark Owl is faster than uh, Frozen Banshee and he will apply every time poison sensitive before she get a turn. We have Skull Crusher to place counter attack and make a Frozen Banshee and Dark Isle make more poisons and explode more poisons from Dark Isle. This is the team, is very easy to build. After the run I will show you the total stats plus the builds. But now I can show you the speed here, the speed for Doom Priest, the speed for, for Frozen Banshee, the Skull Crusher and Dark Isle. And this is the setup, Helicat A3, A2, we don't care for Doom Priest, for Fallen Manchi we disable A2 and A3, Skull Crusher is Auto and Dark Owl A3, A2. This is everything, we click save, uh, is we apply the setup and this is Tuki Ultra Nightmare. Now you need to set up only the Skull Crusher to turn 3, after the stun is full out. But I can say it's out for me because I can start on auto. But before I start with the run, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for my channel. And just stop the run before Skull Crusher turn. This is everything. Now we have Doom Priest after Helicat. Now we get the first turn of Skull Crusher A1. Now again we click auto, we wait Doom Priest to get turn, uh, auto, 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 now is Skull Crusher, A1, and from here is totally auto guys. Let's move me from the map like that, and from this point I can place the run and you can just watch I will make it fast because it will take uh, 50 turns so yeah at the end we will talk for the builds and I will show you the builds basically so have a nice watch
Okay, guys. Oh, Doom Priest survive. Wow. Okay, we reach the Tuki Ultra Nightmare, guys. And this is nice. Uh, if you play against the Green Affinity, you will, you will do more damage because Helicat will get maybe 5 million more damage for Ozenbashi and Tarkai will get more damage. In this team, Skullcrusher and Doom Priest are not here for any damage. But you can see it's work perfect, guys. Dark Isle have 11 million, 11 million damage. Frozen Banshee have almost 20 million damage, which is fucking good, guys. Helicat 4 and the other champ, we don't care, but this is the team. I think it's working pretty well. It's working on Void, Green, and Magic Affinity. It's not working only on Force Affinity because. They will make weak hits and they will not reach the 2 key Ultra Nightmare team. This is the true. This team is not working on the force. But the result is good guys. 2 key Ultra Nightmare with this simple speed and not optimized build. Because yeah, I will show you now why the builds are not optimal. Let's move to the champion. We start with only Helicat is in optimal team guys, optimal build, 4k armor, good crit damage, enough crit rate and some accuracy to apply the weapon. I can lower this HP maybe and increase the defense to 5k. If you have 5k defense on Helicat and big crit damage, you have perfect Helicat build. And basically I just have this, uh, uh, this banner to reach the enough uh, exactly speed which is this speed here he is booked and the masteries are this you can pause and copy it if you want we move to the second jump and this is doom priest this is the masteries she is booked obviously we have phantom touch to do more damage and this phantom touch give her 1 million damage more on the boss she is in random pieces, immortal and crit rate, I don't know why. And this is the exact speed, you need exact that speed to this teamwork. She have good defense and some HP. Basically, I don't know she, why she have so much crit rate and crit damage. Whoa. Maybe I need to lower the stats and increase more armor and HP. Beca because I use her in uh, Hydra. Now we move to the Skull Crusher. You can see Skull Crusher have some average straw skin chest and these boots with HP just to reach the speed. This is the exact 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 speed for him. We don't have max crit rate, we don't have crit damage and some HP and defense. Just trash stats. But it's still working. He is booked. He don't have must, uh, blessing for now, and the masteries are war master, and just I get uh, steadfast because I don't want he to get the stun. Now we keep searching the other champs. Uh, Dark Hell with Giant Slayer. He is booked, and the random build, basically random items, and the stats are not crazy some little crit damage, enough crit rate, this is the exact speed and I don't know why he have 3k damage, uh, 3k defense, I just don't know, but this is random gear to work on the video. And to my Frozen Banshee, basically Frozen Banshee is in good set, she is in retaliation because I use her in my general clan boss team and she is working pretty pretty good. The total stats are this. She don't need crit damage and crit rate, she needs just to apply the poisons and that is the reason why she is in a retaliation set. Is working perfect in my general team. She is booked without blessing for now and war master mastery guys. And I think I show you all the masteries. The team is working perfectly, I think. 
Helicat, Doom Priest, Frozen Bashes, Skull Crusher and Tarka. This is perfect example for poison team. You can change Tarka for every poison which you want guys. But you will need the poison sensitive from Frozen Bash. And that's all. I think I show you the speeds, the gear, the run. I show you everything for this team. If you struggling with Ultra Nightmare and have these champs, go and build this team. It will work perfectly for you. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe for my channel. Bye bye.